I've been so blessed to have my mom help me with Isaac and Gams, I know that um, you really helped take care of your grandkids. But what what was the difference in how you raised Jada versus how Jada <laughs> raised Willow and Jaden? And like I know it's probably a laundry list, but yeah, like <laughs> give me like this is pretty big deal. I'm in the car, headed to my interview with Jada Pinkett, Gammy, and my mom. I'm so excited. A little bit of scheduling issues this morning because my mom is my nanny, and now she's gonna be in the interview with me, so we had to bring the pack and play, the rain cover for the stroller. I had to bring my breast pump because there's gonna be about three hours where I don't see Isaac. I'm trying to juggle that and this interview in my mind. <sighs> I'm one person. I'm one person. But I got this. Look, there they are, waiting on me. I use Bear Affair. Bear Affair. The Bear best, Affair. The best Bear mood ever. Affair. And we use a lot of this beautiful blush, which is called... I bet it's Apricute, isn't it? Yep. Yes. So Katie put the Apricute on my cheek and she brought it up here. It's a Katie thing. It's just, it's her signature thing, but what it does is it connects everything. We use it a lot, like a lot, a lot. I'm very excited because we're gonna talk a lot about mommy-daughter relationships, sex, dating, older lady dating, which now I know is a thing because I saw my mom date for a whole year and it was very interesting to watch. But I'm so excited to get into all the nitty gritty of, um, of everything I just said. But in the meantime, I'm gonna keep pumping my wand. And a special shout out to Revlon. As always, my go-to for anything and everything makeup. All right. This is the mother-daughter extravaganza of Pretty Big Deal. Linda, come on in here. Hello. I saved a seat for you. Oh, thank you. You warmed it up. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Pretty Big Deal. I'm excited. <laughs> Is my video on? Oh, no. Hi guys! Hey! Oh, I'm so excited to see you guys. Um, I was telling my mom and she watched our Red Table Talk interview, which was so fabulous. You guys get to have this, this kind of conversation all the time. This is my first time having my mom on Pretty Big Deal. So get ready. Yeah, yeah I was okay. really surprised to hear that. I was like, this is her first time? I guess yeah. her How first do you feel time? About I know, you guys that, get Linda? to do this like literally all the time. Um, <laughs> so that's why it was really exciting that I got to interview both of you because I was like, oh, this is, this is actually kind of perfect that my mom's gonna come on to Pretty Big Deal today. But the only <laughs> hiccup was that she's my full-time nanny. <laughs> oh, we know all about that. Especially, Absolutely. you know, in the workspace, because my mother, she uh, she came and rescued me and the kids while I was working. So she was, she traveled with me all the time. Yes. So she oh, was I know. my number one go-to for my kids. I wanted to ask your mom a question. Because I, I love just... it. The tables have turned. <laughs> da, 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 da. My podcast, you ask the questions, Jada. <laughs> When I found out that your mom, like I didn't know you guys were from Nebraska. Of all places, right? yeah. <laughs> and I didn't know that your mom, you know, was like in this conservative kind of, you know, you were in, in a different kind of lifestyle, you know For what sure. I'm saying? And so you raised this beautiful young lady who is this have no fucks to give, like. Exactly. How did that happen? Did that happen? Out of Nebraska. <laughs> Out of Nebraska. How did it happen, How did Mom? That I mean, I've always been kind of on the edge myself. Like, well, she was oh, raised okay. Mennonite, which is kind of like Amish, right? So, right. So she was like the black sheep of her family. Therefore, she could kind of give me a little bit of that leeway. Got it. That there we go. Okay. I always yep. like to step just a little bit over the line. <laughs> you know, I always love a woman that likes to step over the line. <laughs> You know, my, I've been so blessed to have my mom help me with Isaac. And Gams, I know that um, you really helped take care of your grandkids. 
But what what was the difference in how you raised Jada versus how Jada <laughs> raised Willow and Jaden? And like, I know it's probably a laundry list, but yeah, like, <laughs> give cannot, me like some bullet points even, here. I cannot even begin. I mean, I came from the era of, you know, children are to be, be seen and not heard. Right. And Jada was exactly the opposite. And I was like, you know, we set the rules and limitations and boundaries and you follow. You don't get to ask any questions because I said so. That's why. Yeah. And J Jada did not, that was not how Jada and Will wanted to raise their children. And it was a real adjustment for me. It was. And I had to get on board or else I couldn't be a part of it. Mm -hmm. That like, there was something that just like raised up in me like, that I felt like maybe you got healing when you got to be such a hands-on grandma. Yes, yes, Ashley, that's true. Yep, that's you know, beautiful. I was able to heal a little bit of myself because of you know what I wasn't able to have with Jada. Mm -hmm. And just really, to be honest, just watching Jada parent the way that she does, the relationship that she has with all three of her children it's amazing. But that's the beauty of yeah. it. And you guys put it yeah. out there. You guys put it out there. You talk about the stuff that's hard to talk about. But, you know, you created Red Table Talk, and I know that you made it a safe space for people to talk and to learn and to be honest. But, you know, why why was it so important for you to to cultivate that space? I was going through a very difficult transition in my own personal, like, journey. You know, it was in my mid forties, just trying to figure the shit out. Mm -hmm. Right. And I came up on some girlfriends. Um, I never forget. I went, I sat with, spent a lot of time with Selma Hayek and, um, I went to see Paula Washington and I went to see Ruby D. These are the three women that I went to see that were so willing to be so freaking honest with me they literally helped me get my life on the right trajectory and mm. i was like god damn it why is this such a fucking secret why are these conversations like why can't we as people as women sit down and have these real conversations about life and relating you want to know why because we're all too worried about and spending too much time pretending to be fucking perfect everybody's suffering everybody's trying to figure shit out but nobody's talking about it i always say one woman is every woman mm. you you feel that energetically whatever it is mm. we're just coming together putting a, putting aside all of you know gender color uh you know economic status, what have you. Like we're here at the table today for healing. The table's always about healing. But in in that healing, there there's there's more than one path. Yes. And there's more than one experience. There you go. You know, and yeah. there's more than one thought mm -hmm. or thinking right. pattern. And that's a and that's where the generations the backgrounds. you know, I know. I love exactly. That. Yeah. Yeah, and this is beauty. mom, Gammy. How do you guys feel about older women being represented in in media right now? Mm. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to do positively Gam. Yep, is be just to get you know our voices here. Like there's still plenty of us around. <laughs> yes. You know, yep. plenty yeah. of us baby boomers, yes. and we have we're still vibrant and living and enjoying life, and we still have a you know opinions and experiences that we want to talk about and and share so that was one of the idea one of the reasons why i wanted to do positively gam mom's been listening <laughs> so tell me like what oh what... wait a minute linda you're starting to, you're gonna start your podcast uh -huh. i was right? gonna get to that <laughs> yes oh, okay. oh, no but okay. it's good i'm so excited for her. i want to talk to gams i want to talk to yeah. you about your podcast because first of all yes linda has a podcast coming out it's called oh shit now what <laughs> Um, from but, Nebraska. That's yeah. the title. Oh shit. Well, I just well, think oh, people ahead. our age, there there wasn't a lot of conversation about a lot of things, right. and yeah. and now it's starting to come out more, and people want to talk. And Red Table Talk and the mother daughter dynamic is all really truly about that continuous self reflection.
Yeah. And Jada Gammy, like how how does that what does that look like for you guys? You know what? <laughs> I, I had to roll my eyes on that one because I am I am I, I went through something recently that was really really devastating to one of my relationships in my family. Mm. It forced me, you know, because it's it's interesting that you think that you're doing so much work, right? Mm. You think that you you're evolving and you're you're being the better person and. You know, I'm not perfect and I'm not trying to be perfect, but I am getting better. Mm -hmm. But then this one thing happened in my life and it was like, God damn it. <laughs> and it, it forces you to take a look at who you really, really, truly are at your core. And honey, it ain't pretty yeah. a you lot of times. Oh and for me, what? I yeah. did. I had an oh shit, now, now what? Yep. And it has forced me, like literally forced me to do some deeper work, work mm -hmm. because I've gotten complacent with, mm -hmm. oh, you know, I'm 30 years in recovery and I'm, you know, I'm floating on this and I'm, I'm, I'm doing good. Mm -hmm. But no, what you really are is a judgmental bitch. Ooh. That's what you really are. <laughs> You need to deal with all that judgment you got. Right. Well, that's self-reflection for your ass right there. Yeah, I was like, well, <laughs> that concludes the interview. <laughs> <laughs> to hear the whole conversation, make sure you listen to Pretty Big Deal wherever you get your podcasts. And before I sign off, I just got to say thank you to my friends at Flamango for keeping us hydrated. My favorite moisturizer right now is this deep nourishing cream. It's amazing. First of all, the scent is so clean. It's not overbearing. I don't have to worry about Isaac smelling it on me when he's eating. It's like this whipped pretty. It's like, look at this, this is so good. It's really like silky, but it's not sticky and it's not oily. Like I don't I don't know how they did that, but it's perfect. I kind of would like want to bathe in in one of these tubs. Maybe we can figure that out. Can we call Flamingo and actually ask them to get me a bathtub of the deep nourishing cream? Yeah. Make sure you go to shopflamingo.com and tell them that I sent you. Okay, so we just finished our interview with Jada and Gams. So much fun. I was just gonna say, did you have fun? I did have fun. Um, this was the first time you were on Pretty Big Deal. It was, why did it take so long? Because <laughs> we needed someone to match us. Okay. Right? And well, what a great match. What a great match. I had so much fun talking to them. I wasn't done. I wasn't either. We could have talked for a few more hours. I, I think so. So it just means like we should probably have a dinner with them. Oh, wouldn't that be great? Mm -hmm. Dinner. Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> it's raining outside, unfortunately. Um, so it makes me feel like tired, but I feel energized from the interview. It was such a great interview. Do you feel energized from the yeah, interview? Yeah, it was. I feel, I feel I, like, like I want to go get a tequila. <laughs> well, can we? Yeah, maybe later. Okay, all right. I have to go feed Isaac first. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you guys are not going to want to miss that episode of uh, Pretty Big Deal with Jada and Gammy and my mom. Hey. Okay, so I'm home. I haven't had my tequila yet. I have it on standby though. <laughs> um, I just finished feeding Isaac and I'm gonna wash my face with you now. I talk a lot about like what my mom has told me um, as far as beauty advice and she always told me less is more. Well, something that she doesn't do that I do because she's a filthy animal. Wash my face. I don't care how much tequila I've had. I will always wash my face. In fact, sometimes I will forget to brush my teeth, but I will always wash my face. So I want to introduce you guys to this awesome new product that I just found. It's called Flawless Cleanse by Finishing Touch. It has a thousand of these little fingers on it. Look at that. It has four modes of vibrations and it's all for your face. Face. <laughs> I love this thing because it's not abrasive. My skin is not red after I use it. Normally I would use this in the shower because it's 100% waterproof, um, but I'm not gonna take you in the shower with me today. So I'm gonna use my normal cleanser and I'm gonna show you how I, it stimulates 
circulation and it also promotes collagen production. It's it's literally the most hygienic way to wash your face because you just you're getting all everything literally out of your pores. You're rinsing it and then you're going. This is so easy that I feel like my mom would even use it. Maybe it's a good Christmas gift for her. Oh, and by the way, you can get 10% off because normally it's $39.99. But if you use actually 10 at flawlessbeauty.com, you can get this sucker for 10% off. <laughs> Hello, stocking stuffer. Hello. All through January 31st. I want to know if you like this product. All my PBD girls and boys out there, I love you guys. Send me a message. Let me know what you think. And if your skin is glowing like mine. And subscribe right down here. Subscribe. <sighs>